Kurt, it's the eve of the FA Cup first round and these are the games you want to be involved in as a player? Definitely, yeah, and a um, little added bonus is my, is my old club as well, which is good. Um, and got good memories for it of the FA Cup, so yeah. A win last weekend to get us back on the winning trail. How important was it to return to winning ways after those successive defeats? Massively, yeah. I think um, after having that run of games where we was unbeaten, um, to get sort of like a knockback from that and then um, and, and bounce back um, shortly after is, is important. So hopefully we can build from that. With that win and obviously a rare week, week to prepare with full preparation, do we go into the game in the best way possible? Definitely, yeah. I think we go into it fresh. Um, it's a, it's a good game for us, of course. It's a, it's a team that are a couple of leagues ahead as well. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're really looking forward to it, really excited for it. Like you say, there are a couple of leagues ahead. What do you think we can expect from them tomorrow? Um, well, they, they're going to be very good, very solid, I think. Watching some bits and pieces and, and talking to the manager on, on how they play. Um, yeah, they're going to be a really, a really good outfit. So, um, but we're looking forward to it. Like you say, it's your former team. How nice is it going up against former own players? Yeah, it's always nice. Um, I still know well, I say a couple of people there, like the management um, I've actually played with before as well, um, rolling back the years. So, um, yeah, it'd be nice to sort of have a chat with them and, and see how they're getting on as well. Does that difference in leagues, obviously they're in League 2 and the National League North, does it play a part when the whistle sounds or is it just the FA Cup in general? Anything can happen. FA Cup is, yeah, it's, uh, that's why they call it the magic of the FA Cup. Anything can happen, but again, we're under no illusions that they're going to be very, very strong. Um, so we're just going to have to go out there, do our best, enjoy it, I think, as well, is, is really important. And um, yeah, just take away what we can. What does the FA Cup mean to you as a player? Obviously, you're still the youngest ever player to play in the FA Cup final. Just what does it mean to you? Yeah, it's massive. Again, as I said, I've got fond memories of it. Of course, the, um, the, the final and also getting through to some, some later rounds um, throughout my career. So I've always loved it. And um, hopefully we can have a little run. Yeah, if we get a win tomorrow as well and, and, and crack on. Like you say, those later rounds and you played at Stamford Bridge for, for Chesterfield. Do you pass on those experiences to some of the boys in there? Definitely, yeah. And I think for the young lads as well, um, it would be incredible. It's, it's, it's a great feeling to be able to get through to those rounds where you're playing the bigger clubs and stuff, which, I've, again, I've been really fortunate to do a couple of times. So, yeah, I'll have a chat, chat with them and stuff like that and hopefully they can just savour the moments and get through as far as they can. We know it'll be a tough game, but as always, it's just important we focus on ourselves. What do we need to do to get into that hat for the second round? Um, I think we just sort of go out and play with confidence. Um, people saying it's like a bit of a free hit, which is, which is true, which means we can go out and just relax a little bit and just play our game and shackles are off. And I think the, the message from, uh, from the management and stuff is go out and enjoy it. You don't get too many chances at, at this, um, this opportunity. Again, I'll go back to the youngsters as well. Um, but I think, yeah, just going out, enjoying ourselves, expressing ourselves um, and what will be, will be.